Hey guys, so if you've ever wanted to know how to illustrate a vector digital illustration, in this video I'm going to be illustrating a basketball retro illustration using Adobe Illustrator and Procreate illustration. This was inspired by retro design, so I think, well I pretty much know that years ago when basketball was first out, Converses were out, Air Forces were like the newest kinds of design, basketball designs out there and it was really cool and trendy. Nowadays the trends have actually evolved and they've, they're growing and growing and they just keep trying to evolve. But I just wanted to go back to kind of like a retro design, fun and engaging creative content. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button if there was anything you did like in this video. I'd love to know more about yourself in the comments if you do do creative things or if you like to um, be a bit more creative, let me know in the comments below. Um, the character and done a bit more details I'm now going to add a, a bit more of the outlines on procreate I just feel like outlines always bring the illustration out and especially the retro designs when you look at them outlines were really really in it kind of made it kind of like urban and hip-hop feel so I'm just gonna go ahead and just give it an outline <laughs> know where I'm going with this illustration now what I've actually done is um, I've already done the outline I've got everything basically the main shapes in Adobe Illustrator I just wanted to make it a bit more defined and a bit more illustration into a style that I kind of like to adopt so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to transfer the file as a PNG onto Procreate and then once I have downloaded that and imported it into Procreate I will then start designing and using the Procreate app um, if you guys don't use Procreate, I will be showing you in the future how to actually use Procreate because Procreate is pretty awesome. If you know any other kind of iPad apps, I would super love to know. <laughs> Thank you. 
end of my illustration and I'm telling you now, the main things that I'm actually enjoying about this was doing the trainers. I really loved it. I was quite surprised by how kind of cool the trainers came out. They were really small, um, illustrating them um, to actually try and find the colours to adapt um, to the actual style of the character. So I really liked using the colours and um, seeing how the trainers looked towards the end. So I guess seeing the finished project, that's what I enjoyed. I think what I could have improved on more was the character's face. It was very flat. Um, I don't really feel like there's much character on the face. However, the concept was retro and basketball, so it wasn't meant to be aimed at a specific character or give a, uh, a certain persona. So, um, so that was fine. Um, I still kind of hit the mark with it, but I feel like in my next illustrations, I think I'm gonna, if I am gonna do a character, um, I would want to focus a bit more on the faces and features. Um, like I said, doing an illustration is a long process. So there's a lot, a lot of features that you do need to bear in mind and give yourself time to actually plan out and illustrate these. done your design using a complete different process I would love to know in the comments below let me know how you guys start your design process or if you don't have one how were you thinking of actually executing it there's no actual right way of actually doing a design process but I would recommend at least researching before you start don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button if there was anything you did like in this video. Check out my abstract basketball illustration if you enjoyed this video where you can see how I actually did the process of this and you can actually see other types of videos where I show other processes. You can also stay tuned um, with my creative processes um, at Liberty Designs Lab on Instagram where I quite regularly update my uh, illustration and design work during the week if you want to keep updated. I also have a Facebook group under the name of at Liberties Design Lab, where I engage a bit more with my community. So if you want to be a part of that, feel free. This video may benefit anybody in your community. Share this video along, and I hope that any kind of creative tips that I share and have actually shown you guys is beneficial to them. So thank you so much for watching, guys. Now that I've finished the actual illustration, I'd love to know what you guys thought about it. Did you feel like it was retro? Did you feel that the basketball vibe? Did you feel Check out these videos next where you can see how I illustrate other illustrations um, involved in the sport of basketball. So if you love basketball, check out these other illustrations and concepts and I'd love to know your views and comments on them.